Hey folks, this is Fishing Bass NC coming at you again. So today I received in the mail a box from uh, TJ, also known as Fishing with Yak Pack. He, um, he and Fishing with Norm did a video on his channel back uh, several weeks ago. And they basically went into, I think it was Academy Sports, if I remember correctly. And they bought um, some different lures and some different baits that they were going to fish with that day. The challenge that they did for themselves was Norm had uh, 10 seconds to go down an aisle and pick out different lures that um, TJ would fish with. And um, I think they, if I remember correctly on the video, they extended it to 20 seconds per aisle because 10 seconds just seemed to go really fast. Anyways, I got the box. Um, I've been waiting for this for a few days now. I've been tra tracking it. It's been all over the United States. It went from TJ's house over to Texas, over to um, some places in, in North Carolina. And then it finally came to my residence here in North Carolina. Um, the box, as you can see, is kind of beat up. So, I, you know, when I first uh, got it, I was like, oh boy, here we go. There's going to be some problems. We're going to be missing things because there was half the box in this one area was opened up and everything. However, I think everything's here. I've already taken a look at it earlier. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in here. So we're going to start with the unboxing. We're going to open it up and see what, see what I got from uh, TJ. By the way, this was a giveaway that he did on that video where he was giving one lucky viewer a chance to win all of those baits that they picked from Academy Sports. So we'll open up the box, take them out one by one, and take a look at what, what I got in the box. All right, so the first thing we got in the box is a original chatterbait by Z-Man. And this uh, chatterbait is a 3 eighths of an ounce. And it's a white chartreuse. So that's the very first, first bait that we have in the box. So I'm looking forward to fishing that. I have a chatterbait that I got in one of the mystery tackle boxes recently. Um, I've never fished a chatterbait before, but now this is my second chatterbait from my tackle box. So I, I need to get out there and, and try these out and see how they work. All right, the next thing we have in the, in the uh, box is a set of uh, Yum Dingers. These are the black and blue flake. Um, this is an eight pack. But it looks like um, it looks like Yak Pack probably used a couple baits, so he threw in a couple additional baits that have a, a white and a yellow or chartreuse color on their tail. So there's the Yum baits that they set over. Those are the Yum Dingers again in the black and blue flake. Um, oddly enough, they have a second pack here of the Yum Dingers, again, black and blue flake. So we have another another set of uh, soft plastics here. So we got two of those, basically. And like I said, Norm, or not Norm, but uh, TJ threw in some additional baits in this one here. So we have a couple, couple little white baits with a uh, chartreuse on her tail. So I'm looking forward to hooking those up. Uh, next thing we have here is something uh, from Strike King called Zero ZT, ZT00 or Z2, Zero Z2, Revolutionary Soft Baits. Um, these are in the Shiner color, and it looks like there are four of these in the package here. So I'm looking forward to trying those out as well. Right now, um, I think they're going to work well because the, the shiner color is kind of what that they're using or what the bait, what the fish are eating at the pond. So um, hopefully that'll uh, that'll catch something down there. The next thing that's in the box is the Exo Swim four inch baits. Um, I don't see a color. Hang on, and let me check on the back here. Oh, these are the green gizzard shad. So we have, again, the Exoswim 4-inch Green Gizzard Shad. So you got green on the back there, or on the front, top, and then you have white on the back. 
these are nice because they have little paddle tails. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying them out and see how they work. Next thing we have in the box is another, uh, we're going to get out the, the soft plastic here. So we have a Rage Tail. This one is a black and blue flake. These are four inches in length. So there's the Rage Tail baits. Looks like a little crawdad. We'll, uh, we'll give those, shot, those a shot. All right, so that's it for the soft baits. We have um, some hard bait lures here that we're gonna show you. Uh, the first one is by 13 Fishing. It's a motorboat 110. Looks like it's uh, four and a quarter inches. The weight is a half ounce. It has a five aught hook on it. The color is called Marty Craw, M-A-R-D-I Craw. And it's a floating type lure, but it has a little spinner on the back there. So it's a little prop that's gonna give you a little bit of uh, action on the back. So I'm looking forward to that. The next thing we have in the box here, this is actually a saltwater lure, um, or it was in a saltwater aisle, I should say, when they picked it out. However, um, as TJ and Norm both said, you know, they've gotten saltwater lures before and fished them in fresh water and it worked out just fine. So this one's a rattle trap, it's a half ounce, it's three inches, it has uh, mustad hooks on it, and it looks like it's in this hot pink color. So that's an interesting bait, and I'm looking forward to trying that out and seeing how well it works in our local waters here. Rattle traps are usually pretty good. Not quite sure about the pink, but we'll see. See how see if something bites on it or not. All right, the next thing we have is a uh, looks like a nano jig, and this one is a three sixteenths ounce. The color is uh, number one thirty five but it looks like uh, pretty much a green pumpkin. So the nano jig in a 3 16ths of an ounce in the green pumpkin. All right, the next thing in the box here is the H2O Express Model RT, the 5 eighths of an ounce. This one is called, is the diamond dust color. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, of basically a swim bait of some type. So that's the uh, Diamond Dust Model RT H2O. H2O, by the way, is the brand that uh, belongs to Academy Sports. So their stuff is, is, is pretty good from what I understand. I've never owned any before. This is going to be the first one that I have owned that's their actual brand. So we'll give that a try and see how that goes. It looks like it should catch something here. It's really nice colors. All right, the next thing we have in the box is from Arbogast. It's a hula popper, 2-inch, or 2.0, sorry. And it's looks like it's called a Coach Hog is the color that they're using. And it has upgraded hook hangers, high definition crackle patterns, and a feather on the treble hook. So this is the Hula Popper 2 by Arbogast. And it's the Coach Hog color. Nice top water lure. These are similar to the, similar to the blooper um, topwater lures that I purchased recently from uh, Guggenbaits. So this mouth right here will give you a bunch of splash as you're pulling it through the water. You let it sit for after you do a couple splashes and uh, then you try it again as, until you get it all the way into land. Alright, and the last thing that's in the box here is a Booyah Baits it's called the Counter Strike. It's a uh, spinner bait. It's three eighths, or sorry, it's half an ounce. 
And this particular one is the chrome and shad color. Looks like it has a silver willow blade at the top and a golden willow blade in the middle. But again, Booyah baits, they counter strike in a half ounce spinnerbait. All right, so that's everything that I got from Yak Pack. So I wanna thank TJ for sending these items to me. Um, I know we've been texting each other back and forth a little bit, trying to figure out where the box was. It seemed like it took a little while, but that's probably due to the COVID-19 virus and the shipping. Um, I know there's a lot of people getting some of our mystery tackle boxes late and, and other items that are being shipped to them are not coming in a couple days. It's taken you know a week or two weeks for some items. So it got here. I just wanted to let you know and um, this was great that he, that he sent all these baits. I'm looking forward to fishing these, put these in my tackle box, add, add the uh, soft plastics to some of the other other uh, lures I have, some other jigs as well as what we have here that TJ sent along. And uh, Norm, thanks for helping TJ out pick pick these baits. Um, appreciate you guys, love your videos. So if you love this video, folks, I sure would appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that next time I make another video, you'll be alerted that it's out and ready for viewing. And then also, if you'd hit the like button on this video, that's going to help me out on my channel as well. All right, this is Fishing Bass NC. Y'all have a great day. We're out of here. Peace.